Howdy folks, today's video is going to show you guys my latest time waster of a project. A fire piston made out of the body of just your standard incandescent 2AA mag light. As you can see on the outside, I really didn't have to make any changes to it, but I'll take it apart and show you the inside uh, just to show you what I've done in there. For the battery tube part of it, what I had to do was just cut off the end of the threads here just because there's a little lip on uh, the standard mag light that keeps the piston from sliding in and out. On the tail cap end, uh, this thing is surprisingly not airtight, um, so I had to wrap some Teflon tape around the threads and then put it back in, so uh, now it's nice and airtight. And then also on the tail cap, there's a hole in there that holds a pretty decent amount of air, um, so I filled that in with JB Weld um, just because the plunger wouldn't be able to get down into the tail cap, um, and I wanted to minimize the amount of uh, air in there just so it could create the proper pressure and temperature to get the, the um, tinder to create an ember. On the piston itself, um, as you can see, it's pretty messy. Um, that's just because I tried a bunch of different lubricants and some of them have petroleum and graphite and they created a mess. Um, the one I ended up going with was just 100% synthetic bike grease and it worked pretty well for me. I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world, but uh, it did work pretty well for me. The piston itself is just made out of a hardwood dowel with a little rubber plumbing piece on the end um, that I cut up to, to fit my needs. I'm not really sure what the thing is called, uh, but when I write up the instructions for the wiki, um, I'll include the part number and price and everything from Ace Hardware. The, uh, the head of the actual flashlight has had all its parts removed, and then I stuffed some char cloth in there just so when you put this whole thing together you've got your tinder and your piston all in one nice little package. I don't know if you saw when I first started the video but when uh, I took this thing out it's inserted backwards when you have it in storage just because if you insert it the way you have it in operation um, this thing is airtight so it's just going to pop back out and you wouldn't really be able to store it like that. So if you put it in backwards you can store it all in one piece when you screw the head on. So we'll see if we can get this thing to actually work. I'm going to just tear off a few little pieces of char cloth that I've got in the head. And I'm just going to stuff them down into the, to the piston. Now if you decide to make one of these for yourself, um, just make sure when you get to this point that you get the the char cloth in there or the tinder fungus or whatever kind of tinder you use just make sure it's nice and secure under the, in there just get it under the lip or something like that um, just because these little pieces like to fly out and uh, get stuck in the piston or uh, get stuck in the tube and make a nice little mess so just get it in there and you shouldn't have any problems see I've already got pieces falling out so we put it in there um, obviously when you're in the woods you're not gonna have to take a flip-flop with you um, but just because I'm making this video on a hardwood floor the thing likes to slide around I don't really want to bust my head on my camera I'm sure that'd be pretty entertaining for you guys but uh, I don't really want to do it so we'll see if we can get this thing to work when you're doing it just put as much pressure uh, just put your body weight on it so uh, you can get as much pressure in there as you can just so it'll create the proper temperature inside to get that ember lit As you can see, got it going on the first try. I think Les Stroud would be jealous. So as you can see, I just put it out. Um, fire piston made out of a mag light actually does work. If you want the instructions for this, I'm going to have them up pretty soon on uh, wiki.goingprepared.com. Just search for mag light fire piston and I'll put them up under there. Uh, if you have any questions that aren't answered in the wiki, you can hit me up on the uh, forums.goingprepared.com and I'll answer any other questions that you have.